Welcome back to my vlog. Today we are in Los Angeles at Pierce College. That's right everybody, we're here at Pierce College here in LA and yeah, don't worry about it. That's just me fighting the stormtroopers who are trying to take over the planet. Hey, you started it. Wait, no, what are you talking about? You started it, I didn't start it. All right guys, never mind that. I'm not trying to get you into my drama even though I am trying to save the world here, but what we're out here to see is we're out here to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. The old Trapper Lodge statues. I think that's what they're that's called. That's right, people. We are out here to see the old Trapper Lodge statues. And these statues are very unique in many ways. We'll get to the darker side later. First, let's do a little bit of history. Back in 1941, a former tracker opened up a lodge in Burbank, California. His name was John N. That's right, John N. got into the whole roadside attraction idea. He opened up a motel in Burbank, California, and uh, he filled his motel with a bunch of different memorabilia, such as, you know, pelts, leather pelts, guns, and yada, yada, yada. Just filled it with all old Western, mem Western memorabilia. That's right, folks. Good old John N. Opened up his motel and filled it with all his memorabilia. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough. He wasn't bringing in the tourist attractions that he wanted. He didn't bring in a tourist attraction. People weren't coming in like he wanted. So in comes these things. But not right away, of course. Uh, there were a lot of people telling them, hey, hey, you know what? If you want to get your attraction, uh, you know, you want more people to come in and, and stay at your attractions, you got to go with statues. Statues are the new thing. Sculptures. You got to get those in to your establishment. But good old John N. didn't know how to do that. He didn't know how to first thing about making statues. Ah, so what did he do next? He hired Claude Bell. That's right, Claude Bell, who is, whom is most Claude uh, Bell, most known for the Cabazon dinosaurs. By the way, if you haven't seen them, I do have a video on those if you want to check it out. Shameless plug. Claude Bell al also worked with Walter Knott, known for Knott's Berry Farm. That's right, folks. So after hiring a uh, known artist that knows what he's doing, started working for him, and John N. watched Claude Bell as he was working thought to himself, this is not rocket science, and decided he can do it on his own. Don't quote me on this, but I believe this is a Claude Bell statue. You can tell by the proper anatomy, the face, and the stance. Looks very, you know, like you would think a man would look. This here is a John N. statue. You can see by the anatomy being completely off. Um, they just look weird and creepy. I mean, they just look really creepy. <laughs> so in 1981, John N. passed away. Um, the statues were at the lodge for many, many years. Um, in 1981, when he passed away, I believe the place was still open for another few years until 1985, which then the land was bought out by a local airport. But some people did not want to give up on the past. They really enjoyed John N's work. It is kind of endearing in a way. I wouldn't say it was good though. <laughs> it's kind of like the movie The Room, if you've ever seen that but by Tommy Wiseau. Uh, it's not a good movie, but it's a fun movie to watch. So the statues were all moved, well at least most of them were moved right here on this land in the back of Pierce College. I'm not even sure a lot of people even know they're back here. Honestly, this place is gated. There was one opening right here. Um, it was open. I don't know. It doesn't say not to come in. But yes, folks, you can see that these were crudely made cowboys, uh, saloon, uh, 
girls and uh, trackers and all the things that you can think about from the old west all crudely made by john n and they're all planted right here for all to see come out and see it it's really interesting but also very creepy and in fact maybe maybe put the kids asleep for this one because it gets a little weird beyond this point it gets a little weird so the weird part is about this is when people ask just random people i guess and reporters or whatnot come by and ask about these statues pierce Pierce College actually doesn't know that much about them. They don't know who comes by here and takes care of them. So there's a really mysterious element to that part. Well, if you think that was creepy, hold on to your hats. If it's not Pierce College taking care of it, then who is taking care of it? Well, I mean, who is coming by, coming by here and, and doing paint, paint touch-up jobs on these things? <laughs> Let me tell you, folks. It gets creepier. Now these are all little legend says type things, but some people say that some of these guys down there, there was real human teeth used on the sculptures. And looking at the one sculpture, that looks like real teeth to me granted i get it there's like cobwebs in the way it's not really all that easy to see but that looks highly suspicious people highly suspicious so if you're wrapping up the whole picture of strange people coming by and taking care of this area the, the statues themselves Pierce College has nothing to do with them. And some of these look like there might be real body parts, such as teeth. I don't know if they're teeth body parts. Yeah, I guess. But that's really weird. That's really weird, folks. I don't know about you. That kind of weirds me out a little bit. Now, I think this is a very, very far stretch. Very far stretch. But some people claim that... There are real dead bodies hidden inside of some of these sculptures. Now, I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. But just the thought of it though, though, just the thought of it, just, just, just slightly creepy, slightly creepy. Trust me, I'm not gonna be the one to find out. I'm not selling those things open to see. Uh-uh, not me. It's really interesting. There's a boot hill. Now, I know a lot of people, uh, had very crude humor in the in, in way back in, way back when, so a lot of the humor probably doesn't really hold up to today's standards. Probably, to be honest, isn't really all that funny anymore. But Boot Hill is one of the things that have been over and over kind of made into kind of a a little bit of a jokey type idea. Well, folks, I think that's going to do it here at Pierce College here in LA. Folks, I'm really glad that you come and watch my video. I do really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, oh, hey, I got some more guys coming at me. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm going to save the world. You have a good day. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I, I got to get out of here, guys.